terrorists. Hold on. Here's Terra's Daily Rant. 5.8% of the cars in the fleet right now are electric. And that's fine. If you want an electric car, great. Go buy one. I couldn't be happier for you. You do what you want. Pursue your own happiness. That's your right. But I shouldn't have to buy one. Um, And so now we're finding out that they, uh, these new regs, these tailpipe regulations on gas-powered cars, Lee, will force by 2030, that's like six and a half years from now, 54 to 60% of the new cars purchased will be electric. Okay. Now, we haven't gotten these details yet. These will come out over the next few days. Okay. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go ahead and give you the news for the next two days. I'm not going to be here tomorrow because I'm going out of town. Um, it, the rest of the family will still be in town, but I'm, I'm going out of town. Okay. So I'm going to give you the news for the next couple of days since I'm, I'm not going to be here. I will be back on Monday. Um, shock will ensue over the coming three, four days when they realize the way they're doing this, the way they're going to force 54 to 60% of the cars available for sale um, by 2030 to be electric is they are going to take gas powered cars Lee, and make them so utterly expensive that a vast majority of the folks in this country cannot afford them. They will, it will be cheaper to buy an electric vehicle right now. The average gas powered car, $49,000. That's the average. The average EV is $61,000. The average median household, I looked it up, for Greenville is 65. So we're talking about a whole year of wages. And, and, and I'm not joking when I say people will be choosing between having a car and a working air conditioning. People will be choosing between having a car and a washing machine. And they'll be going, well, you know what? We're going to go back to hand washing in the sink because the new washing machines, they don't even get the E. coli out. I've got another rash. So, I mean, this is where we, that this is it. This is where we are with the left, right? So the, the next couple of days, as these manufacturers begin to tell us the truth of these regs, we're going to come to find out they're going to raise, you might take a guess, if the average price of the average electric vehicle is 61000 they're going to have to get the average price of the average gas power vehicle over 61, right? Mm -hmm. So we think they take it to $65,000, $70,000 with the new regs. That's oh, what they're going to do. Yeah. So that's coming. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at is that the average family, if they can afford a new car at all, is going to have one car. They're, they're going to take us from a two-car household family of four down to a one-car household family of four. That will be reported in the next few days, next week at the latest. So I'm not going to be here, so I'm going to do the news before it comes out because I know how these people work. I know, I know what they'll do before they do it. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terra Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.